Ben Jacobson here with Ben Jacobson Photo. I just wanted to walk you through really quick uh, some of the various options for filter holders, uh, specifically gradual neutral density filters or panel filters. Uh, I think at this point I've tried every single option there is. Um, and I know it's been frustrating for me without really seeing or feeling them in a store or wherever uh, before purchasing them. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of show you what the options are, what they look like, and at least compare so you can see. Um, I'm a Lee filter user, um, so some of this is going to be based around that. I have had uh, uh, Koken filters and high tech filters throughout my photography career. Um, I know the high techs come with a, a plastic envelope that I, I don't use at all. Any tiny little grains of sand or whatever are going to get ground into the filter with the plastic on plastic. Uh, and it kind of gets sticky, so I just don't like those at all. Uh, the Kokens are actually quite nice with a little velvet, uh, basically, envelope. Uh, and I actually replace what the Lees come with with something similar, also made by Lee, uh, for those filters. But in the end, I found an even better solution. Uh, so let's just dive right into it. If you get a Lee filter, this is what it comes in. It's, it's kind of Cordura nylon or whatever on the outside. It's nicely padded, it's got a label on it, tells you what it is, uh, but the problem is it's bulky and the inside has got kind of the smoothest nylon that to me always feels gritty and like it could scratch something. Um, so I don't love that and I don't love, I carry seven to eight filters, so seven or eight of these stacked up gets pretty big pretty fast. Um, so it's nice, but it's not for me. Uh, so passing that, of course, I had to try Lee's $50 10 filter wallet holder, um, which looks kind of like an old Trapper Keeper binder. Uh, not very nice looking. It does have velvet inserts, but they're not even as nice as their velvet wallets, which I'll show you in a second. And then if we go to put a filter in here, let me just show you really quick the real pitfall with this. Um, you go to put a filter in here, for starters, the openings are all pointed towards the middle. So I got to flip to the second half till one's pointed at me. How do you, with one hand, you kind of got to pinch the top corner to get it in there. If you're holding the book in your other hand and trying to get it in there, the page is kind of, you can already see I'm having problems here. Just demonstrating it isn't easy. But the pages are loose. They don't want to hold up. You got to use two hands to do this. What if you're holding the camera with another hand or you just have something else going on? It works. It's nice. It protects them, but it's difficult to use. Also, as you pull it out, the filters like to drag across, across the teeth of that zipper. Um, so ultimately, don't like it. Um, I'm going to try to return it to B&H, if not sell it. Uh, but yeah, it's too bulky, and it just isn't protective enough. I, I really, these filters are not cheap, as we all know, so I want to protect them. Um, so it's going to go back in my favorite holder. <laughs> um, here you can see the Adorama Slinger. This was my favorite for quite a while. Um, it is a very nice option. It holds five filters. They're like 15 bucks. Only Adorama carries these. Uh, but they're very nice. Um, I think $15 might even include free shipping, uh, but the links will all be in the review. The other nice thing is it has double Velcro straps, so if you want to put it on a backpack strap or camera bag strap, either way, it's got a strap for you. Um, and you can actually use these to put two together if you want to hold more than five, which is nice. Um, then you can see inside I have my Lee. Um, let me see if I can grab just one. This is their velvet envelope. It's a different velvet than is in this. It's a little softer. Um, they're very nice in that you can toss them in your washing machine. Uh, I just get a white uh, cl like cloth marker um, and write on them. So that would be my one soft bag right on both sides. You stick it in, you fold it over. Um, I use these in this Adorama one because it has the same smooth nylon or whatever material that is in here that feels like if it, it could damage the filter. Um, I know no matter what, your filter's sliding in and out of an envelope or a holder or something. So sand could always be an issue no matter what the material is. But for whatever reason, I don't really trust that where the softer velvet I do like. Um, so when I had this, I used these. Now these are not cheap. They're like $5 each, maybe even more. So by the time you add up five of those in something that costs 15, it's a $40 holder. So it, this was my favorite. This is now my second favorite. Um, it certainly works, it's certainly nice, um, but the click that I'll get to in a second is better. Uh, here's the, the Low Pro Filter, what is it, Filter Pouch 100 from their Street and Field series. Um, it's kind of nice, it's got a nice color-coded insert that actually, the whole thing comes out, it's got Velcro on the bottom. Um, you have nice fleece-looking material in here that is nice and soft. There's little, like, 
kind of pockets on each one to hold a filter. Um, so it's nice, it's color coded. Um, but right up until you get to where, the way you close it, because you close it and as it's closed here, the ends are wide open for sand in a camera bag or out in the air to go in there, or salt, whatever. It can just get in there way too easy. They always bellow out like that. So you have to tuck them in and it gets fiddly. Um, yeah, sure, the Adorama has the same problem, but it's less expensive, it's smaller, it's less bulky. This is meant to not have it, but it always has it, and it's a bigger, more expensive holder. Um, so I really, I got it, and I didn't really like it. It does have a nice Velcro strap on it that has the safety on it, but the Adorama was adequate in all my time. I actually got this first and stopped using it for this. So this, I pref much prefer this. Um, the Think Tank option is here, uh, more because you could get those Lee Velvet envelopes that I have in here and just stack them all in here. The one very nice thing is uh, with this, it's a Think Tank, what is this? It's a Skin 50. No, not much padding in it really. Um, but the nice thing is you can drop in those velvet envelopes in here and your filter holder. Or you can stick the cleat click in here and a filter holder. You can stick in two of these wallets. So this is kind of one of those modular things that's it's nice to stick other options in to hold more gear. Um, so it's it's this is the Skin 50, which is a it's one of their thinner ones with less padding. It's got a very nice Velcro back to it. Um, you can see where I added some Spectraline and the and these uh, they're. Uh, adjustment balls for sailing uh, to quick attach it to some other things um, but I still use this with these uh, and then the final best holder I found is a click elite um, I don't even remember what they call it to be honest it only comes in red it's got I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the Sun maybe if I move it around it's got like a clear silkscreen click logo on it uh, that you can really see out here today but in the morning you don't see it all it's got an embroidered logo um, it's red so it sticks out real nice in your dark camera bag first thing in the morning. Then you open it up, it's got seven slots. They're all fleece lined. They're bellowed really nice. It gets really small when it needs to. Um, it also has the option to add labels at the top. Um, I pretty much know how this is. I have my CP, my hard GNDs from the weakest to the strongest, my soft GNDs from the weakest to the strongest, and then my 10 stopper in the back. So I don't really need them, but I put them in anyway. Um, it's nice if you hand it to somebody, uh, if you're that trusting. Um, but yeah, they're fleece lined. You reach in here, and they're they're well protected. Um, whoops! And there you can see these do like to fly out every once in a while. Um, but it's it is the nicest filter holder I've found. You can get it from Adorama, B and H, Amazon. They all carry it. I believe it's thirty five dollars right now. Uh, may or may not include free shipping. I'll put the links in this review. Uh, but this this is by far my favorite method of carrying the filters. It's really well put together, fleece lined, uh, easy to use, easy to see what's in it. Um, it's also, in terms of the bulkiness, it's ever so slightly bigger than the Adorama. Um, it's a slight bit taller. I'd really, I'd say they're the same size because this bellows a bit up here. When this was filled with filters, it, these tuck in a little bit. So they're basically the same width basically the same thickness. This is a little thicker because it holds two more filters and then it's just ever so slightly taller. Um, so, but then these are all significantly, these two are much smaller than the Low Pro or the Lee. Um, so they're very nice compact options. Fit in your jacket pocket. Uh, so yeah, I've been on this mission to find the best filter wallet for, I don't know, two years now. Um, the Adorama Slinger is very good and inexpensive if you trust their material it's it's a very cheap option if you're gonna add the lee velvet holders uh that bumps the price up to the click range to where i'd consider the click because i i like it very much as well these are the two better options for sure though uh with i would favor the click personally um, but yeah hopefully if you're looking at any of these options this at least helps you see how they're laid out how they're designed the pros the cons um so that you can make a, a more educated decision um, so yeah, I'll link all these up with some more pictures of, of the layouts um, in the review so you can take a look and hopefully this helps you pick out the right filter holder for you. Uh, ben Jacobson for benjacobsonphoto.com. Thank you.